All right, I've tilted the uh, clay so I can get underneath the horse and underneath him. There's areas I have to fill and everything like that, but uh, uh, I'm going to continue on. Even with the uh, clay tilted so I can work on it a little easier, it isn't easy because I got to work between legs and I got to work between the armature support, and uh, it ain't easy. I'm going to try to figure out if my hand's going to be in the way so you can't see what I'm doing. If you're going to tilt your sculpture, make sure you've got it well supported, supported so it doesn't fall over on you. Nothing more embarrassing than to do this and have the whole sculpture fall apart. Sorry, as I work on the clay and I turn the uh, revolving stand here that uh, it's on, the clay gets out of shot or whatever they call it, frame. I haven't been able to show you everything I've done already. But uh, that's because I couldn't get a camera angle. And my hands were in the way, so you wouldn't have seen anything except the back of my hand. I'm just finishing up underneath the uh, horse for now, just filling any holes that are there. My mouth is literally right at the mic of the camera. So it might be a little loud. Okay, I'm going to have to fill in underneath there, but I'm going to do that before I take it to the foundry if I ever sell one of these. And uh, I'm not going to do that today. All right, I got the horseback level. And I'm just working on the... Uh, lower leg of the horse the rear leg I was mentioning yesterday how the uh, Horses back in the early 1800s and 1800s were small Mustangs. I've got a picture of a Native American standing next to his horse. And the horse literally has no neck. It obviously was a good horse because he wouldn't have ridden a bad horse. 
It just was a damn ugly horse. Just so you know, I've got several videos on creating a horse. And one video that is dedicated completely to the creating of a horse from scratch. And I have a link in the video description below that uh, takes you to a review of my nine available videos. I'd appreciate it if you take a look at it, if you're interested in sculpting. I give you 50 years, over 50 years of my knowledge of sculpting and the little tricks and hacks that I've come up with to do things. And uh, it's well worth your time and your money. A lot of what I did today wasn't videoed because uh, of the angle and the hard uh, ability to get a camera into where I was working. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be working on his bridle tomorrow. I was going to do a hack more, but I think I'm going to do a, uh, a uh, different kind of bridle and I'm going to do a little research tonight on my computer to uh, get myself the uh, right uh, bridle but uh, the main thing was getting in underneath these legs and getting those uh, inside of those legs right and uh, I accomplished that today I still got work to do on the uh, legs down here in the lower part of the uh, rear legs, but uh, I can get those anytime. I basically want to get this thing to a point where they can look at it and see what's going to uh, cost to make a mold of it and uh, to cast it and all that stuff. And, and that's what I'm trying to get it to. Um, and then I'll set it aside after a while. And just go do something else because I want to set this aside and come back to it later. I, sometimes when you get into something so deep, like I have been on this one, uh, you really need to get away from it for a while. Um, I'll do the horse, the mane of the horse, and all that stuff at another time. Or I might just go ahead and do it just at this time, but I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I, I just feel like right now I'm grinding myself into the ground on this piece. I, I love it, and uh, I like it the way it is, but uh, I really have to pace myself because I can overdo it. There's a lot of artists who can just sit down and work on something from start to finish without taking a break from it. I can do that sometimes, but sometimes on a complicated piece like this, 
you just sort of have to take a back, step back for a while. Yeah, we got to, to look over the piece and I've got to, this area here, I've got to fill in and I've got a pocket to put on the, uh, the uh, shafts. I've got to lower the whole sculpting stand down because uh, I got to work on his boot and it's too high for me to work on it. This one's just about perfect, so I might work on that one first. But this one definitely needs work. All right, everybody. See you next time. Good night. Hope you have a great night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.